All right, uh, welcome back to the next episode of Math Meowtics. Um, this problem here is a little bit more challenging than what we've had handled before. Um, so in this problem, we have a helicopter landing pad or a helipad, and it's sometimes marked with a circle inside a square so that it's visible from the air. We want to find out the area of the shaded region of the helipad at the right. And then we want to write our answer in factored form. Well, the first one, step one, what we want to do here, step one, all right, we want to find the area of the shaded region. Okay, that's this area, that's this region that's all in this orange color that I'm highlighting in pink, okay? And um, we know the area of a square, so we can find the area of a square is equal to S1, all right? So that's the area of a square. Okay, that's the side, that's whatever that is squared. Well, it tells us here that the side of this square is 2x. So I can now rewrite my um, equation substituting 2x for s, and then that's going to be squared. So we're substituting. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna simplify this. So I'm gonna distribute that power to both terms inside my parentheses. So that's gonna become 4x squared. All right, we simplified, all right? Now, we're gonna take our area of the circle. So area of the circle is pi r squared. Now here, our radius, our r is x, so I'm going to substitute. Let me write area of a circle. All right, now we're gonna substitute, so this is gonna give me pi x squared, all right? So to find the area of the shaded region, We will take 4 pi squared. Sorry, hold on, let me rewrite that. We're going to say a1 minus a2. All right, so or we can write this out to be, or we can say 4x, oops, or we can say 4x squared minus pi x squared. Well, look, if we notice something, I notice that I have something that's similar in both, all right? I can pull out, I can factor out a, um, I can factor out a four. Uh, well, let's do a couple of things. So first we need to find the greatest um, common denominator, the GCD. So I know that I can factor out an X squared, okay? So then I can say four minus pi, all right? Now, um, Again, I can use, um, talk about um, distributing that. So that's actually the easiest way. I can't factor out a four because in front of the pi, the pi is by itself and pi is different from four. Pi is an infinite number. So we've factored out the factored form of the shaded region is going to be x squared four minus pi. So if whatever value of x is in the future, I could solve it and this is all I have to do. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. It's not too bad. And as you can see, if you have any more questions, I'll do some more example problems of those. Um, but mostly it's using everything that we've learned from the very beginning of all our math career, um, all the way back to elementary school. All right, I will see you in the next video where I will talk about some of the um, example problems, uh, practice problems. See you then.